Greetings to all of you today that have come to listen to this broadcast today, and thank you so much for tuning in. I'd like to share the good news of Jesus Christ today with you, and I appreciate you listening. I want to read from the uh, from the Living Bible. It's a paraphrase. In other words, it's in, in, in English uh, where we can understand it in our terminology a little bit better. It doesn't change the meaning of it. But it's really very good, and I thought I'd bring it to you. The very first chapter of Psalms, and verse number 1 and 2. Oh, the joys of those that are not following evil men's advice, who do not hang around with sinners, scoffing at the things of God, but they delight in everything God wants them to do. And day and night always meditating in the laws and thinking about ways to follow him more closely. They are like the trees along a riverbank, bearing precious fruit, luscious fruit each season without fail. The leaves shall not wither, and all that they do shall prosper. But for sinners, it's a different story. They blow away like the shaft of the wind. They are not safe on the judgment day. They will not stand among the godly. For the Lord watches over the plans and, ba and paths of godly men, but the paths of the godless lead to doom. I want to tell you what, this is a really good couple of four, verse, four six verses I read from Psalms 1 and verse 6. It tells us the joy of following God's advice and listen to every word that he says. It says that our delight is in the law of the Lord, and we meditate in his word day and night. And it tells us that we will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. We'll bear forth fruit in our new season, and our leaves shall not wither. But what shall we, whatsoever we do shall prosper. But then it has a different view about those that don't follow the Lord, that those that reject difference Christ. Uh, I tell you, we have a decision to make whether we're going to follow Jesus Christ or not. If we're going to live for him and live for his word, or we're going to stand before the judgment and, uh, and uh, not be ready to meet the Lord. That would be a terrible time to be lost and undone without God. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. Today is the time to turn your hearts over to Jesus. I, I trust very tr truly that you will listen to this chapter. It's a very good chapter. And I believe God will bless you if you consider it in your heart and pray. Don't stand in the window of sinners or scoff about the things of God, but honor God and his word and respect it, and God will bless you richly. This is Raymond Mayfield, and I will talk to you again very shortly.